everyone, so today I thought I'd give you a full nursery tour of Jackson's room and also show you the storage solutions that we have done for his bedroom. I'm just gonna walk you through like you're around my house and I'm showing you around. I <laughs> hope you like this video. If you haven't subscribed, please do because I have lots of other brand new room tours coming because we have just done up our whole house. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Right, so if we just come in like this, this is kind of the first area that you see. This is his changing area. The lighting that we have in his room, we have two different light settings and they both are dimmable, so you can have it quite low when you're trying to get them to relax. So there's two spots and then there is a big cloud light that we can also dim and that is from Ikea. His changing table is just an Ikea unit that used to be white. We've painted it grey and then we took the handles off and we got these Zara home handles. So simple. Got a changing mat here which is from Amazon. It's, it's quite old, it's been through all the boys. It says keep calm and change my bum. On the top here we have a wipe warmer. Now this is the biggest waste of money that I've ever spent on a baby product. It looks quite nice so I still put the wipes inside it and then they stay like really wet so I just use it like that. And next to it I've got like a little basket of things. Just keep all kinds of things that I would need. We've got his barrier creams here, cotton buds, hand sanitizer, cow pole, thermometer, tissues and cotton wool, um, saline drops because he's had lots of colds since he was born because he's the third. If it's the middle of the night and I've got an unwell or teething baby, I don't want to have to run downstairs and look for anything. I just want to have it like accessible. So I keep it all in this little basket that I got from Dan Elms. Above the changing table, we've got these two framed J's. This crayon framed one, which my friend Kerry made, um, and uh, we actually did a DIY video on it, so I'll link that down below. This my friend Lucy got us which is really cute with like vintage print on it then we got this little sign that says dream big little one this was from a shop on Instagram called the dandelion den sometimes we hang it over here and he'll look at it while I'm changing him um, then we've got this shelf from a great little trading company I believe I've just used it for like decor at the moment I'll just show you inside his chest of drawers as well because I wanted to show you how I've done all of his storage. As you may know, I'm obsessed with the Marie Kondo way of storing things. So everything is folded upwards so you can see everything. So these are all of his baby grows. Got all of his vests lined up in here. I got both of these baskets from the pound shop. And I also got this basket from the pound shop. These are all of his little joggers. And then these over here are all of his socks. Then I've got his nappies here and some extra wipes. In the next drawer down, we have muslins, again in a pound shop basket. Then this basket's from Den Elms, and these are all of his little tops. Yeah, and then I've got three little pairs of shoes. I've got two towels here. This is where I keep all of his like little hooded towels for the bath. Down in the final drawer, I have some bedding and extra blankets for his bed. This bin is closed for a holiday, which is coming up, so they're all like summer clothes. Look little denim shorts and then here we've got all of his bibs and hats then next to the changing table I have his angel care nappy bin which is great for keeping smells away and then just a little bin here for like cotton wool or anything else I've got a really special print over here which is a quote from the um, I'll love you forever book by Robert Munch it's my favorite child's book it's this one you may have read it it's quite popular and um, the words in it are really, really sweet and they make me think of my boys anyway. But when I found out that I was pregnant with my eldest, my grandmother in Canada sent me this book and she wrote this inside it. To my darling great-grandson, I'll love you forever, Grandma Dean, September 2010. So we bought this frame on Amazon and we just painted it to make it go with the decor. For the paint in this room and the decor, we have done like a two-tone effect. This is the Laura Ashley Dove Grey paint. This chair, I am aware that it is gigantic. It's from Ikea and it's my breastfeeding chair. I've had it for Caleb and Jackson. It's really probably too big for this room. I have no idea where to put it, so I've just kind of plonked it there. I should probably get a new breastfeeding chair that fits this room better, because this room is quite tiny but it's so comfortable. And yeah, they've got just a little cushion from my back that says, love you to the moon and back. 
so that is there and of course a muslin ready to catch sick right then this is his built-in storage all of his bits here and I have done them in age order um, I got these really cool dividers that I wanted to show you they look like this I got them from a place called Bello and me uh, they had loads of different designs I went for the woodland design because I thought that was quite cute so I just put them on like that so then any newborn bits that still fit him are hanging here and then the next section we have the zero to three month stuff and then the next section we have the three to six month clothes next section we have the six to nine month clothes even some nine to twelve month things that I've just kept down because I think they look a bit small like Ralph Lauren always comes up small on boys and then I've got all of his sleeping bags here and at the bottom of the closet we just have an extra changing mat some baby bags that presents came in that I would like to reuse lots of baby books that he already is interested in and then I've got two newspapers a daily mail and the sun from the day that he was born we've done that for all of the boys and I think it'll be really cool when they're older to go ahead and read through them and I've got more inserts for the angel care nappy bin loads of wipes from Costco some pampers boxes and like two keepsake boxes which I will start to put like anything in like hospital bands are in there but over on this side of the room is his cot and we have a big mirror up there which is from Ikea and we painted it so that it would match cot is from Ikea and all of the boys have used it inside we have the sleepyhead grand now because he's so big he's grown out of his little sleepyhead deluxe mostly because he's sleeps on his front and then we have a mama's and papa's mobile which i love a pom-pom j that i made while i was pregnant so i bought this j on amazon it's just like a cardboard j and then i painted it and i stuck loads of pom-poms on it because i thought it would kind of match up with this but i kind of feel like it looks like a five-year-old has done it so i might just start telling everyone that fraser did it but i like it anyway so i have it on the windowsill and then i have this sign that says thank heaven for little boys and i love that sign i bought it at a summer fair yeah so i love having this huge mirror because when i'm rocking him to sleep i like to be able to see if he is actually asleep or not. For the blinds, we've got the same blinds what we have in the rest of the house. I really wanted cordless blinds, but we forked out and we got electric blinds. So it comes with a remote and you just press it down. Right, I don't know if you can see that. So we have that main blackout blind at the back and then we also have these day to night blinds which have like these slats on it. So you can have it like that with some light coming in or you can pull it down and it makes it like a little bit darker. I don't know if you can see that. Floor of his nursery is this really soft squidgy gray carpet that we have throughout the top of the house. And then we got this little toy bin from my first years. It's so sweet because it's personalized. It says, I don't know if you can see that, it says Jackson's Toys. And I got it in a nice chevron pattern because I thought it matched the chevron on the sleepy head. But you can also reverse it and have polka dots if you want to and then inside there's just loads of like soft toys so overall we're really pleased about how the nursery's turned out this is the smallest room in our house because it's uh, a four bedroom house and he's our third boy so it's the smallest one so i'm really hoping that he likes it when he's older you could easily have a single bed in here so i'm hoping that it will last him thank you so much for watching and i'll see you soon